Today I want to show you the updated way to connect your Facebook lead generation ads to LionDesk given that LionDesk recently had a facelift. And I do have to admit that I'm no longer a LionDesk user, but I do recognize that LionDesk has a major role to play in the real estate CRM space. Such a big role in fact that many of the clients that I work with in my real estate lead generation business are actually using LionDesk. So I'm in there quite a bit. And I also recognize that all of the other videos in this channel that cover Lion Desk are using the old interface. So I wanna make sure that I at least provide you an updated way to make the connection between Facebook and Lion Desk because there's still so many users. So with that being said, today I'm gonna to show you how to connect your Facebook lead generation ads to your Lion Desk account so your email drips and text drips automatically launch. And the three websites you're gonna to need today is Facebook, Lion Desk, and Zapier in order to make that connection. Hey, it's Jaime. If you're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, we're gonna blaze right through this. You're gonna see how simple it is to connect your Facebook lead ads into Lion Desk. So here we go. This is your home screen, clearly. Now, as you can see, there's some time remaining on my Lion Desk, which uh, I would paid for an entire year, but here we are, almost two weeks to the day before I don't have access to Lion Desk any longer. So we're gonna make the most of it. All right, so first thing I wanna draw your attention to is to the top right and go to profile. The one thing that I want you to make sure before you build out any campaigns is to make sure that you have your email signature the way that you want this. There's gonna be an option for you to include your email signature without you having to type it over and over and over again. So I wanna make sure that you maximize that. So go over here to your uh, profile and then make sure that your email is set up in that, uh, in that space right there. Now, if you need ideas for the email signature, then go over to Fiverr and have somebody make that email signature, make it look for, make it pretty just like you saw right there. Or if you want a free email signature account, then, um, or free email signature altogether, go to Box Brownie and I'll link that down below. There's a free email signature that looks very similar to that. All right, so that's the first thing you wanna do. Just again, you wanna make sure that it is very professional, it looks pretty good. So there is that. Now the first thing you're gonna do is go over to campaigns and you're gonna see several options. These are these are campaigns that were created way back in the day. So as a reminder, I'm not, not no longer using LionDesk, but it um, is still a phenomenal CRM to use if, uh, if it makes sense for you with the functionality, the pricing, and where you are in your real estate journey. So here we go to publish campaigns. You're gonna see all the campaigns that are available to you, either you unlock them or you pay for them. There's several different, as you can see here, there's 449 different campaigns that you can go through, and then you can search by campaign. Again, some of them are absolutely free. All you have to do is just download them or uh, save them into your, um, into your account and you're off and running. Some of them you do have to pay for, so that I do like that collaborative spirit from the campaigns, uh, from the way that you can share campaigns, so that's pretty cool. But what you're gonna do is, if assuming that you're you have your own emails and your own text to go out, here's how you set everything up. I like to start off by creating a new folder, that way I don't get lost. So this is gonna be YouTube, and I'm gonna put final folder, and then description, Just um, we're just gonna put YouTube. So I know what happened here. So there we go, we just created the folder and now we're gonna create a new template. So these are the templates that you can pull at any point in time, whether you wanna send individual emails or you want to start creating your drip campaigns. So in our case, we're gonna create our drip campaigns. So we're gonna put email, and we're gonna email one. So let's just say it's a, a buyer lead or a seller lead, whatever the case may be. In the description, this is just for you. This isn't something that gets shown to the public. This is just so you can easily access them. So if you have a buyer drip campaign, then just call it buyer drip campaign and then do E1. So E stands for email. And then on the text, we're gonna put T1. That way we know when we need to send these emails out. Now, also, if you want to um, if you want to organize yourself based off of days, then you just put D0. D0 is day zero. This is when it goes out. So what I do is just, I just copy this. I go and select the, um, what do we call it? YouTube final folder. So we're gonna put it in that folder and we're gonna say that this is an email. And then in the subject, we're gonna put subject. And you also can put the contact's name. So you can put right here, as soon as the lead comes in, the first name. So. It, of course, this doesn't make sense, but you subject one, first name. And then right here, 
you can insert additional fields. So I really do like this aspect of it. You insert the field and then, hey, thanks for subscribing or thank you for requesting additional information. And then you can in include other elements to this. So let's see something real quick. Your email signature. So this goes back to making sure that your email signature is up to date so you don't have to type it out every single time. So you have, hey, uh, so first name, let's just say Jaime. Hey, thanks for subscribing or hey, thanks for reaching out. Whatever the case may be, whatever you promised, this is the first email that's gonna go out. Now I'm gonna move myself and I'm just gonna save this. Hey, one quick second, I'll let you get right back to the video. I just need to ask for one small favor. Would you mind going down to the bottom of this video and smashing like? Thanks. All right, so now we're gonna go to another template. And we're gonna go to, we're gonna paste. This is gonna be email two. And we're gonna put D1, all right? Folder, YouTube final folder. We're gonna say it's an email. And it's gonna be on the first day. We're gonna go day one. And then again, we're gonna insert the first uh the first name right there and we're gonna put something right here and then you're gonna put your signature so i think you get the drift i know we're going super fast but at some point once you get the gist of it it becomes repetitive so i i want to just breeze right through this so you know kind of all of the steps involved i'm not focused on the ad uh, templates if you are interested in the first 30 day templates for emails so your email drip campaign that includes emails and text drips then i'll link those down below i do make those available these are the same email slash text drips that i have for all the agents that join me at exp and all the uh, all of the um the agents that i work with and all the brokerages that i work with outside of the exp ecosystem so i do make those available to you if you've been struggling to convert online real estate leads, then I highly encourage you to check them out. So I'll link those down below so you have the exact 30 day follow up that um, all the agents that work with me use in their business. All right, so we're gonna go to save now. All right, so we have done two emails. Let's go and do some text. So let's just say text one. And then we're gonna go back to final folder. Now we're gonna say that it's a text and you can still add fields. It's Jaime. Boom, there you go. So now we're gonna say save. Oops. Oh, I shouldn't have saved it. it I should have changed it to text. <laughs> I'm used to putting something other than email right there. So anyway, we're gonna let that go. That is completely okay. Now that we have that set up, let's refresh this because something, uh, it seems to be stuck right there. Now that we have that set up, what we're gonna do is go back to campaigns and we're gonna actually create a campaign at this point. So we're gonna create a campaign and we're gonna call this YouTube Final Campaign. We're gonna submit. And now we're gonna create an action. So what we just did, let me move right there. So what we just did is we went over to the, to the template. So we are assembling what we want to send out. We assembled the text, we assembled the emails. And of course, depending on your drip campaigns, it, it's going to take a lot longer than what we just did. And you're going to create all of the templates. So the beauty of that is once you do it once, then you can pull those in into different campaigns. And also you can send those out individually. So that's a huge benefit. I know it takes a little while to get, um, to get the templates going, but that's just the way that you do it. And this makes a ton of sense the way that the Lion Desk new interface has laid it out. So kudos to y'all. All right, so we're gonna create it in action. And now we get to select, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna do the lead assist, which is a um, kind of like an artificial intelligence. I believe it's called Gabby. It's been a while since I've used that feature. I used it way early on when it was first unrolled or unveiled and it's a, it's a pretty cool system. So they've come a long way as well. You can add a task to your campaign. So this is a task ex uh, exclusively for you. So you remember to do it. And then the text and the emails, well, you just saw us do that right there. So we're gonna select that it's an email and then we're gonna move me again and we're gonna go to next. And now we're gonna go to the folder that we were working in. So final folder and you see email D zero. So we're gonna go to next. So what we just selected was the email, the e uh, the uh, email, uh, the, the type of action, and now the template. 
and then when we want to send it. So in this case, we wanna send it out immediately. So we're gonna go to next, and then who you wanna assign it to. If you have other people or other team members in your team, then you would select the assignee right there. But we're just gonna go submit, all right, add another action, and you're gonna see how quickly it is to build these. I know that I'm talking fast, I know that we're moving very quickly with this, but if you need to watch it in half speed, then absolutely do it. But at some point, it's gonna become so easy for you that you're just gonna breeze right through this. So as you can see me do that right now. We're gonna delay this, we're gonna delay this a day, so we're gonna delay this one day, and I like sending my emails out as early in the, in the day as possible. So we're gonna go with 7 a.m., that'll be fine. And then we're gonna go to next, it's gonna be assigned to me, submit. All right, so we're gonna add another action. Now we're gonna say that it's a text. We've been doing emails, now we're gonna go with the text. We have the text selected. We're going to go to the folder, and the reason these other campaigns that you see highlighted here, or I'm sorry, grayed out right here, the reason those are not pronounced and those are faded is because they don't have any text within them. So we're gonna select that, send immediately, and we do wanna select stop on text reply, so, it, so we wanna make sure that we engage um, immediately by ourselves so it our, our next automation doesn't go off because they have responded. So we make sure that that's done. All right, so we're gonna finish an exit. What did we just do? We just created this campaign. So we went through, we created our templates, now we designed our campaign, campaign the way that we wanted to. That is step one. That is what you absolutely need. Now. You're gonna go over to Facebook and you're gonna create your lead generation campaign. We're not gonna go through and create a lead generation campaign because that would make it very, very long of a video. So I'm gonna link it right here. If you are in the dark on how to create your lead generation campaign, then I have a video right here specifically for you. So you're gonna go and create your lead generation campaign at this point because remember, we are connecting our lead generation campaign from Facebook and we are combining it with the Facebook, the I'm sorry, we we're combining it with Lion Desk. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna go back up here. And once we get to settings, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna first start off by adding a new source. And we're gonna go with YouTube, final, source. We'll just keep on that same trend. We're gonna add the source. All right, now we're gonna go to lead distribution. And we're gonna go down here and we're gonna select Zapier. That's how we're gonna connect. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to Zapier. We're gonna add a new lead source. And now we're gonna select YouTube Final Source. I know we're going super quick, but as long as you're following, you're seeing exactly what's happening. As long as you're following everything line by line, you're not gonna miss. All right, so start the following drip campaign. We already created that drip campaign, remember? So now we're gonna do final uh, YouTube Final Campaign and then you can go to individual. So if you are uh, if you have Line Desk by yourself or if you have a team, then you can do a team rollout and do a round robin or assign who's gonna be getting leads at that point. So we're gonna save lead routing. All right, so we have done the, uh, the settings, I'm sorry, the source, we have done this. Now, one thing before I forget, if this is the first time that you've created this, then you will need to go to third-party integrations before stepping over here and creating the source. So right here, third-party, you see that this is the, uh, I'll make sure to grade this out actually. This is the um, the API for Zapier, so make sure, making sure that that's enabled, that is what you absolutely need to do to make this work. All right, so again, if you have not done this before, if you this is the first time that you're going through and making the connections, it's specifically for Zapier, you need to make this enabled. So you need to enable this and make sure that that's up and running before you come back here and set up your source and then set up your lead distribution. So you saw the steps. You went and created your campaign, you're making the connections over here, you, at this point, you need to have already created or are on your way to create your lead form that's completely fine if you do that after the fact, but make sure that your lead form is created. So those two things, your KV, uh, I keep saying KV Core. If I said KV Core before, sorry. Your Lion Desk, as you can see, I'm already somewhere else. Your Lion Desk and your Facebook, those need to be completed before you go over to Zapier. So once you go to Zapier, 
this is where you start making the connections and don't worry about not having the back end already established. This is gonna guide you along the way. All right, so we're gonna make us app. And then we're gonna select Facebook lead ads. We're gonna go to new lead. We're gonna go to continue. And if you're logging into Facebook for the very first time through Zapier, it's gonna ask you to connect. So I'm already connected as you can see. We're gonna select the page. So we select the page and now we select the form. So again, this is a lead generation campaign. This is a type of campaign objective that you launch on Facebook. All right, so we just selected it. So this form probably doesn't have any leads in it. So yeah, so it's dummy information and that's completely fine. That's what you want, in fact. Given that, if you just created your Facebook lead ad, chances are you don't have a lead already. So dummy information is perfectly fine. It's what you need. Now we're gonna go to Lion Desk. Very much the same thing. This is the first time that you are creating your Lion Desk account or connecting to your Lion Desk account from Zapier. It's gonna ask you to log in. So link the account. There we go. So we're gonna go to continue. And now we start mapping out what you asked for in the lead form to where you want these leads to go into. So we are asking for the first name in the lead form. We're asking for the email and then we're asking for the mobile as well. So we just mapped it out. So we have the first name, the email, and then the mobile. Now you can do some additional fields, of course, if you ask for the last name, then you absolutely include the last name. Um, if you, the hotness, you can select hot, cold, warm, whatever the case may be. And then the contact source, if you wanna put Facebook, that's absolutely fine as well. And then any tags that you have associated on your CRL. And then any additional information that you requested. Now, the key here is to connect the campaign. This is the absolute key up. Well, let me back up for one quick second because I just saw comments. If you ask for custom questions over on Facebook, then you want to put them right here. So if you asked for a, um, how much do you make or whatever the case may be, if you asked a, cu a custom question over on Facebook, then you would just put that in the comment section right here. But outside of that, well, you need the campaign to launch. So we're going to click on this and we're going to ask it to load more. So this is, um, it's loading more campaigns. I had about 30 something campaigns. So I do need to continue loading more because I, I suspect that this campaign is gonna be towards the very, very end. So we're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going until we select the campaign. We'll give it a few more seconds for it to load. And boom, there it is, YouTube final campaign. And the lead, you're gonna see that it's it's a new lead, so true, lead source. You can select some sources there, but I actually would leave that blank. And then you just go to continue. You can skip the test if you want, or you can make it go through. So all you have to do is test the lead and it'll pop up over here in your contacts. So I'll move this over here so I don't have to gray that out. But once you hit the test, it'll send it over to your contacts. And all you have to do is flip the switch over here, turn it on, and make sure that you name your zap and you've made the connection. Well, now you know how to make the connection between your Facebook lead ads and Lion Desk. It's time to get back to business. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make your best day yet.